Hello and welcome back to the Fencing Referee YouTube channel. My name is Lisa Campy Sapri, and you can subscribe right here. You can find other stuff on my Instagram, which is the Fencing Ref, and then the Fencing Referee on Facebook. So we are continuing with Epe 101, and we're going to talk about halts. Actually, before we talk about halts, let's talk about something important that people think Epe is easy to referee. I want you to think about the fact that in a five-touch bout, I might have one true call that I'm doing. And I mean a call. Maybe somebody went past. Let's say that because that's a reason for a halt. Wink, that's about some of the rest of this video. Um, if I mess up that call and I've only had three calls total, I have a 33% failure rate ballpark. Yeah. So when people say that refereeing Epe is easy, they're also not telling you that you're not allowed to say, I don't know. You're not allowed to say, I can't follow the action. You can cause, you can call halt for if somebody's not wielding their blade properly, their weapon properly, you can call halt for that, but you cannot call halt for not being able to follow the action. And that's important. Our percentages in Epe, we might have five calls in an entire pool where they're actual calls, not just touch, touch, right? So this is why it's important. Halts need to be at the right moment. You cannot call halts early. Early halts are very problematic. So when we referee what I call a special population from my life as an exercise physiologist, the very young or the very old, sometimes you're afraid when somebody's winding up, when the bigger kid's winding up and the little kid is right there, you might call halt because you think it's about to be dangerous. It's probably not going to be dangerous. Falls are dangerous, right? Out of control fencing, flying at somebody, that's a reason for a halt. But we really need to pause in those halts, especially in Epe with passing. In Epe, I could do my bunny fencers. This person is now passed. There's light between the two fencers, yes? So you don't call halt here, you call halt here because this person might start an action before the passing, before the reason for the halt. That's one of the things you're teasing out is what was the reason for the halt? Why did I call the halt? Was it because there was a light on? Was it because something was dangerous? Was it because they couldn't wield their blade properly? Was it because somebody had one foot off? Where did they go off the back end of the, the strip? Did they touch bodies? These are all the reasons that we call halt. And we've got to make sure we don't call halt too soon. So if I step off the strip and then I start an action, my opponent can hit me. But if I step off the strip and then start the action, the halt is for when I stepped off. But if my fencer within that same tempo is starting an action, I can be hit, but I cannot be making my touch because I started it after the reason for the halt. For example, now the back end of the piece is a cliff. Whoa. Once you're two feet off, you're hit. Okay. We have to understand that it's a plane though. So if this is the back line of the piece and my foot's like this, I haven't gone off of it. Now I have. Does that make sense? Always make sure that you breathe. People will say that was, that was with the halt. With the halt is a misnomer in some ways. So one of the reasons sometimes with the halt happens is you think they're about to collide into each other and cause core core and you call halt, boom, and a light goes on. Well, that was with the halt because I was calling halt because I thought core core had already happened, but the touch happened before the core core point. You have to pull out of the situation. Why did I call halt? What rule am I about to apply? And is this a touch? Further, don't forget, from the very first Epe 101, I'm watching the person who got hit. Because if they modify the system, they will not get an omen if their blade doesn't work. So halt. Take a breath. Don't call them early. You cannot say, I can't follow the action, not in this discipline. That's not a reason for a halt is something dangerous, one foot off, two feet off, off the back of the piste, passing core core. 
These are the reasons you call halt. And then you have to determine after you call halt, is it a point? Why did I call the halt? Is the reason I'm calling the halt, is that the person getting the point? Because typically, not always, the person causing the halt is the person losing the rights to hit. All right? Wow. Epe is supposed to be easy to referee, isn't it? I keep proving otherwise. Thank you so much for watching the Fencing Referee YouTube channel. Check me out on Facebook and don't forget to subscribe right here. Don't forget two good things about yourself every day. Bye-bye.